Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsit. So in this uh, short video, I want to say a few words about the latest update of uh, Django dashboard, the black dashboard, the free version. Now the code base um, comes with uh, with another pattern where the UI is no longer hard coded inside the product, but comes uh, from an external library that installs the UI during the during the, uh, the modules installation. So uh, we, this means that um, the UI can be used in any Django project, legacy or new project, just by um, uh, installing this, uh, this library. Um, we can um, um, clone the, um, the project uh, in a local environment and start it using Docker or uh, simply uh, import the repository in uh, in the render deployment platform and uh, go live with the product uh, in no time and without any configuration because uh, all these features uh, are provided um, in in this uh, in the in the latest version on top of this um, i need to, i need to mention that uh, the ui covers the um, admin section reserved for super users all the um, authentication flow, flow um, uh, provided by Django and also the registration is also styled and the rest of the pages provided by the kit uh, are available for uh, ordinary users. Let's uh, take a look at the, um, at the UI by uh, cloning the, the project in, uh, uh, in my local environment and start it using Docker. So this is super super easy uh, for those that um, prefer the manual build all the steps are um, are provided here on the on the project readme in case anyone have issues uh, feel free to um, access the support page on AppSeed and uh, send us an email or simply join the discord where we can help you uh, live okay I'm I'm back here to the to my file system. I will open up the, the project, go to the to the readme and um in case uh we want to, to start the application um using uh using Docker we just need to type in the root of the project Docker compose up minus minus build and wait uh, uh, around one minute docker compose builds all the um, all the setup and uh, installs all the modules migrate database and uh, we should uh, be able to to access the ui in the browser uh, super fast once the um, uh, once this setup is uh, is completed, I will deploy the the project on render. Uh, as I, I mentioned before, the um, uh, application can be deployed on render because uh, the code base uh, is enhanced with uh, two files that informs render how to um, deploy the the project, the environment that the application uh, needs, and also the entry point into into the code base. Okay. At this point, the application is uh, up and running using Docker. Let's uh, access the UI. Okay, and uh, the kit looks looks super super in my opinion. Let's uh, create a new user. Okay, I will type here the password just to avoid the typing error. Now the user is created. We are automatically redirected to the to the sign-in page, and uh, we can see that uh, all the um, all the um, kit pages uh, are now accessible. Okay, we can log out and uh, of course uh, create another user and. Uh, and use use the product okay let's uh, deploy the product uh, on, on render which is also super super easy 
and go here to the new blueprint I will copy the URL of the of the repository new blueprint distance click apply For newcomers, render it's a Heroku-like platform, but it's super beginners friendly and uh, all the flow it can be automatized. We decided to go with render because they, they have a decent pricing and uh, the complexity compared to other cloud providers like AWS, uh, Google Cloud or uh, Azure. It's, uh, it's simplified and uh, apps it basically is linked to this uh, platform and all the um, all the automation regarding the deployment is done using the render API okay at this point uh, uh, we need to wait a little bit to to, to have a completion regarding the deployment uh, the compilation log uh, can be found here on uh, on, on the dashboard and once the render uh, flags that the product is being live we can access it and uh, use it um, in the same way as um, as uh, in our local environment so uh, the product looks good and um, from from this point if we update the code base basically the the live version uh, render detects the change and also update the um, uh, the live version let's uh, go back to to the uh, to the code base and uh, simply go here to home and uh, rename this uh, this file um, okay once we rename the file the um, the dashboard is um, the dashboard page is no longer used from the from the library and uh, this uh, customized page will uh, will be loaded and uh, let's check out in um, in render if the render uh, triggers a new a new build basically we've renamed the um, custom dashboard dashboard and uh, this uh, this front page should be uh, should be different once the deployment is uh, is completed. Let's uh, check out the compilation log. All oh, looks good. Now the, the new version of the product is deployed, and um, um, we should see the new the new version of the of the dashboard and uh, the proof that the um, continuous integration continuous deployment flow works okay let's go back here and we can see that the, lo the local version of the dashboard is used and um, the continuous integration continuous deployment flow was triggered because the code base of the product was uh, basically updated so guys thanks for watching the product is uh, is free is released under the MIT license, which means you can use it for commercial projects. Um, you can update it and um, sell it for uh, to your to your customer customers, or simply use the the product for uh, for learning activities. In all cases, if anyone needs support, as I mentioned before, uh, go here to the support page, send us an email, or simply simply. Um, uh, join discord so uh, thanks for watching again Adrian here from Epsid um, let us know what you think about the product and uh, see you all on uh, on the next video bye guys